And three, two, one. Alan Murchison, Managing Director at Alan Murchison Restaurants, native of Scotland. The 10 questions that every chef wants to know. Iron brew or red cola? Oh, iron brew or red cola? I used to drink iron brew a lot when I was younger. Um, vodka and iron brew was a drink of course. Uh, choice. Um, iron brew or red cola? It would have to be iron brew. Haggis or white pudding supper? Oh, haggis every time. I think a good haggis is a rare treat. Um, it's also very good to do a beef wellington with haggis as well. It absorbs the moisture when you're cooking the beef. Um, white pudding, just don't get it for me. Stovies or scotch pies? <sighs> Difficult question. <laughs> don't particularly like other... There are Scottish things. <laughs> oh, I wonder why that uh, is. <laughs> oh, I've been in England for 15 years. Uh, Stovies or scotch pie? Scotch pie. The Sun or the Daily Record? Daily Record every time. Marco or Gordon? Raymond. If there wasn't Raymond, you wouldn't have had Marco, you wouldn't have had Gordon. And um, I've met both of them, and I think Marco's a really inspirational guy. I think White Heat, for me, still is a seminal work. Um, it was Will's 30th birthday recently, and I bought him a, an old copy of uh, White Heat. And you look at it. Hardback? Uh, hardback. Got Ooh. a hardback copy. Of, I think it was, yeah, hard, but it was signed and it cost me a bloody fortune yeah, to get it. it. Yeah. And it's still one of those seminal works and I think Marco influenced a lot of people. My only regret with Marco was I never ate his food when he was at three star level. I remember I worked for John Burton Race at the time and I remember standing outside the Hyde Park Hotel looking at the menu and I didn't have the money to go and eat there. And I wish I'd borrowed something or sold a Big kidney. Still borrowed, yeah. Um, yeah. And I think he's, he's did a hell of a lot. Gordon, I'm perturbed by the amount of negativity towards him because I actually, have, my own experience of him have been great. I think there should be more people aspiring to the heights that Gordon has reached and I think Gordon is a great guy. Ultimately though, it's got to be Raymond. No Raymond, no, no Marco, fair comment. no Marco, no Gordon. Raymond. La lager or bitter? Diet Coke, neither. Don't do them. Okay. The worst cut, injury or scar that you've seen or you've had? Ooh, I'm very lucky that myself, I've not been too bad. Um, I'm a bit squeamish with blood. The worst one I ever saw was at the Mamoir, Christmas, oh, 11 years ago. A gentleman called Stuart Eddy, who was back helping oh, yeah, out, yeah. was chopping turkey bones on the meat block with a big Victorian house bone crusher. Tired, 18 hours days, went straight across the back of his hands with a Victorian house bone chopper. Wow. Um, he kept his fingers, but he could have lost the whole lot. Uh, it makes me feel ill thinking about it. Just what you don't need. <laughs> the biggest cowboy trick you've seen or that you all admit to? Yeah, without, without a shadow of a doubt, I've seen a few cowboy tricks in my time. Probably the, the worst one I've come across was I've worked for a, a chef in the past and he served haddock that was bought in for staff and pretended it was turbot and <laughs> sold it for 40 quid a portion. I refused to put it on the plate. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But I think that is one of the biggest cowboy tricks. You know, botching stuff up during service yeah. time, but this was a premeditated <laughs> ass. Right Absolutely. Guess, haddock for staff. Let's pretend it's terrible. Yeah. They'll never know. That is shocking. Shocking. Coffee or tea? Coffee. And last but by no means least, if you weren't a chef, you'd be a... What would I be? I'd like to be a florist. Why? Why? Because I think floristry is... Artistic. It's artistic. It's very much like cooking. It's about the seasons. It's about texture. Um, it's a visual thing, but it's also taken into, into regards nature. And I actually think there's no way to train somebody to be a good florist. You've either got an eye for it or you haven't. It's about like naturally good cooks. I've got chefs that work for me who are naturally good, can throw food on a plate and it just looks amazing. You can't train somebody to be artistic. You can't train somebody to have a touch. And I would like to be a florist. I also think, and I wasn't happily married at the time, that you know, being a florist would get you laid so often. <laughs> How many heterosexual florists are there? Can you imagine? You let's go to florists to get all these beautiful girls and it'd be you there giving it. I'm sure the yeah. same applies in the airline industry. If you're yeah, a, a, a straight cabin guy. Absolutely. You know. So I would like to be a florist. I'd be very popular with the ladies if I wasn't happily married at the current moment. And I think it's very similar to chefing. Alan Murchison, you're a star. Thanks very much. Cheers.